talk kind of quietly. Um, there's houses all around me. Um, I've walked down here to my neighbor's house. Um, it's funny because, you know, I always feel like I want to go somewhere and get a really good picture and come to find out there was a, a really nice photograph right down from my house. And uh, I never really knew how beautiful it was down here. We got the Orion constellation and kind of like the winter circle right here that it kind of lines up perfectly with the pond. So I'm going to do panorama using the Samyang 14 millimeter F 2.8 lens. And the reason I wanted to do this video, most beginners seem to go for this lens. It's cheap and they've heard that it does really good. So it's a really popular choice. I wanted to really show off what it can do. And yeah, we're gonna photograph this cool pond here with the winter circle. And I'm using the Sony A7R2. Even a vertical shot with the 14 millimeter lens, it, it still doesn't cover the whole pond. So I'm thinking probably six or seven panels across. And we'll do about five minutes on each exposure. ISO 1600 and yeah, hopefully we can uh, capture the sky afterwards and come up with a pretty nice image so the main thing I'm going to want to pay attention to is keeping my tripod and my camera as level as I can between each uh, one of the exposures that way when I bring everything into Photoshop there's no uh, problems when I try to stitch everything together and I end up with a nice clean panorama she goes. I'm also going to need to overlap each one of the frames by 30%. All right, one for our second shot. And there's a lot of uh, light coming off of this house over here, so I think I can use some of that light to kind of light up the foreground. All right, that looks pretty damn good. All right, we're going to move on to our next. I'm just going to keep doing this all the way across the pond. It's looking pretty, pretty good. <laughs> I'm excited. Yes. Oh man. I'm super excited about this. So good. I can't believe it's been right here this whole time. It just goes to show you, man. You always think the grass is always greener on the other side, but everybody has their own unique uh, circumstances. In my situation, I'm under dark skies. I got beautiful landscapes around me. I'm in farm country, so I'm already at an advantage because one direction is Portal 3, the other direction is Portal 2. When I first got into astrophotography, I always saw winter circle shots and I was just really attracted to them. They were just really beautiful and I've always wanted to capture one, but things just never lined up right. So very excited to finally get one in the bag. So now that we got all our foreground shots, we're going to take our sky shots from the backyard at the house because basically it would be the same exact sky whether I'm in my backyard or down there. I'm gonna go to a sky where there's no branches and trees in the way. You have to take separate sky shots and blend them back in with your foreground. And when you get to do this a while, you learn these little tricks like that to uh, kind of speed the process up. It takes up a lot of time. I'll spend a good two or three days processing all the images, but hopefully it'll be worth it. Um, so we're gonna go get the star tracker out. I'll use the Astro Modified Canon 80D, bring out some of those uh, hydrogen alpha in the winter circle. Kind of forms an arch across the sky. And like I said, they just look really good. And yeah. I'm gonna get to it before it gets too low on the horizon.
these dogs to start barking at me, but um, I've come over here to my neighbor's field. It's right beside my house, and I brought the Star Tracker. Uh, this is the iOptron Sky Guider Pro, and I'm using the modified Canon 80D paired with the Optolong L Pro filter, and I'm just gonna do a kind of a rough polar alignment. The main thing I'm gonna want to do. Just make sure everything is really level because doing a panorama you want to make sure that as you pan across that you're keeping everything good and level so I want to do a vertical here too I'm using the move shoot move Z plate and it's made with Alan Wallace and move shoot move company and what it does it lets me pan my camera across you can see and I'm able to keep my camera leveled uh, the entire time so I'll put a link in the description for uh, for one of these and I use it all the time for my panoramas and you can use it just on a regular tripod too just like a ball head and this plate here swivels up and down too so if you need to move kind of like your center of gravity back some you can do that too it's just uh, and it's super strong it's, it's just a cool uh, thing to have so really glad I bought that but super nice out man Orion like super bright over there so what we're gonna do I'm just gonna aim the camera right above the tree line over here let's flip this around I want to start kind of above the tree just like I did down at the pond and I'll just pan to the left and We'll see how many panels it takes to get the the entire arch here. Turn the star tracker on. Nights like these are uh, why I really love this hobby. So I get so used to doing uh, deep space astrophotography that I forget how fun landscape astrophotography is. So I'll probably, I see myself doing a lot of uh, landscape stuff this year, but that looks good. I'm going to go grab the intervalometer and yeah, get this going.